team effort to put on a show that, that is um, just really phenomenal. Hey, Ken, speaking of excitement, I just heard that that's what's going on right now, so let's get back to the action, okay? All right. Join Badgerland as we now present Viva Ski Vegas. Ah, the perks of being the announcer for Badgerland. Paul Groves getting a little uh, kiss coming out of the caddy. <laughs> I like it. Vegas! I'm glad you could all join us for the grand opening of our Badgerland Vegas Casino. Vegas. Downtown. The Strip. The city that never sleeps. Ladies and gentlemen, imagine me. My own casino. Luck be a lady tonight. Viva Las Vegas is obviously the theme here. And you said we'd see a big show. Year after year, Badgerland puts on one of the best overall shows. In fact, they won this national title a couple of years ago. 1992, Dan. And one of the things that's important to point out here is the fact that Badgerland does such a great job with their creativity. They're always very strong in this area. Very entertaining club. Now we're at your fancy schmancy casino for a big show, and we ain't seen nothing yet. Ladies, would you like to see the beef? Oh, I'm glad because my boss has hired the biggest and best in Vegas entertainment. Coming down the strip now, live from Caesar's Palace. These fellas do not like the cards they've been dealt. They're going to discard those skis. The Barefoot Pyramid. Cannot say enough about the ability that Paul Groves has as the show director and the announcer to literally take that show and incorporate and it out on the water to create an entertaining Palace, story and theme. The and it certainly doesn't take away from the talent that's out on the water. They, they always have some of the strongest skiers in the show nationals, John DeBellick. Uh, the whole crew is very, very talented, and not just in one discipline like barefooting here. We might also point out that the river seems to have settled down a bit, and that is to their advantage. Let's see how they perform. But I was thinking of something bigger. Big is big. You know, big shows, big productions, big chorus lines. Excuse me, ladies. I couldn't help but over here. And let me say, my staff assures me that they have bought the best and spared no expense to ensure your entertainment pleasure. Isn't that right? That's right, and here they are, the entire Caesars Chorus Line. A chorus line unlike any we have seen before. I don't know the last time I saw Live barefooters skiing at uh, Caesars or anywhere it's else. The Tropicana Dance Team. The judges looking at every precise movement there. You can see that they have lost one or two ballet skiers there at the end of their line. Mark, you pointed out the importance of costuming. The judges look at that as well. And they're also staying with the theme here, Viva Las Vegas. But notice the boat pattern, Dan. This is, this is really interesting because they're oval boat patterns. It does two things. It keeps the water clear during their performance. However, after the performance, it really stirs it up, and that current is making things even more complicated. We'll have to look to see for the next couple of acts how they perform. You can just imagine the countless number of hours that these amateur athletes go through to perfect their shows. Most of these teams come from the north, and their uh, practice sessions start in the very cold, long winter nights inside school gyms, anywhere that they can find in order to practice their shows. And of course, when the when the ice breaks off the river, they head outside and they begin in earnest preparing for these national championships. And Dan, this is probably one of the best examples of preseason practice that we can see, Adagio doubles. The guys and the girls are literally practicing for hours in the gyms and 
and uh, outside sometimes prior to the shows. But this is something that you can do on dry land before we the show and during preseason. The Vegas floor. Adagio doubles, Anthony obviously Chen. very similar right to uh, pairs figure up. skating. Not two, but four more sets of Star Strap Trio. Yes. The best dancers, and we paid them a lot. Here they are, then. The Tropicana Toe Turn Team. Badgerland right now, Mark, doing a terrific job of constantly keeping the action in front of the audience. Great point, Dan. This show is really a terrific performance, and it will propel them either close to the top, if not to the top. 1,858 points, Mark. That's good enough for the lead. And so for the time being, it is Badgerland in first place, followed by the Aquanuts, the Backwater Gamblers, and the Lauderdale Aqua Skiers. But still to come, 